Forecast from NBC 25. Good Tuesday morning everyone starting out with mostly cloudy skies, but now starting to see the clouds break up and this will be the case over the next couple of hours. So we will eventually get some sunshine through the mid morning, but the afternoon looking at a lot of sunshine. Actually a really nice day today after some snow showers moved through yesterday. Speaking of which our northern counties picking up a little bit of accumulation and with temperatures now below freezing. Watch out for a slick spot here and there. The rest of us just some snow flurries and snow showers yesterday. No problems on the roadways. Temperatures they're chilly at 32 now in Saginaw and Flint, but we've dropped into the upper 20s in Mount Pleasant and Alma where the skies have started to clear out with the cloudy skies a couple degrees warmer in Bad Axe and Carrow at 33 34 in Sandusky it's 31 right now in Tawa. So a chilly start, but this afternoon will warm up to a high of about 41. Once we start to see these clouds breaking up, we're seeing the northerly and northwesterly winds continuing to give us a little bit of lake effect. But what will happen is high pressure build in, build in this afternoon, and that will kind of shut off this northwesterly flow, which will get rid of the clouds and the lake effect snow showers for us. And as this high pressure bubble moves in, it'll do two things for us. Number one, it'll give us the sunshine, but number two, it's not going to let any storm systems move in from out west for at least about a day and a half. By the time we head to Wednesday night and a Thursday, it'll move to the east far enough to allow low pressure in the form of a cold front to start to move towards the east by Wednesday night into Thursday. So up until that point, nothing really to talk about except quiet and calm weather, which is exactly what we need for the next couple of days to get the power turned back on for everybody who lost power from the severe storms Sunday night. Plus, a lot of cleanup still ongoing with the trees down across a lot of areas. I know several locations were hit pretty hard. Midland, we're still looking at a lot of cleanup here. We had a lot of power outages in Midland and also through Genesee County. But good news, Futurecast getting rid of all the clouds for us today. We will see that sunshine this afternoon. Again, a high of around 41. Average is 46 this time of year. Average low about 32 tonight with the clear skies will drop below average for lows down to about 26 or 27. Looking ahead to tomorrow, notice clouds start to build out west. I think we'll start out with some sun some sunshine but by the afternoon we'll see some of the clouds beginning to filter in and then the rain chances will pick up Wednesday night into Thursday. Thursday will actually stay into the mid 40s. So this early part of the storm system will be all rain, but from Friday into Saturday, an Arctic air mass is going to be moving in and we'll see any leftover rain showers changing over to snow right now. It doesn't look like we'll see a lot of accumulation, but Friday night into Saturday as this Arctic air mass moves in, We'll have a pretty strong lake effect component, and I do feel that we will see some accumulation in our western counties and northwestern counties, the areas that are typically favored for some of those lake effect accumulations. Wouldn't be a lot, though, until you head to the western part of the state or up towards northern lower sections. But overall, the big story from this weekend, the weekend ahead, I should say, is going to be the cold weather. 26 for a high on Sunday would put us nearly 20 degrees below average, Joel, for this time of year, and it looks like that cold weather is sticking around going into Thanksgiving week.